Our next topic would be about equivalent rates. So, ito yung panglima na subtopic under the simple interest topic. So, two rates are equivalent for the same present value P. They yield the same maturity value F at the end of the term. So, for example, may dalawang rate ako. Magkaiba yung value ng rate ko. Pero, equivalent siya in a sense that the same yung present value niya and the same din yung magiging maturity value niya F at the end of the specific term. So, Ikaw compare natin yung dalawang formulas at simple interest rate R and simple discount rate D. So for these equations for the maturity value, i-equate natin yung dalawa for F is equal to F. So in scrutiny sa formula ng dalawa, P is equal to 1 plus RT. This is for the simple interest. And equal siya sa P over 1 minus TT for the simple discount. And transforming the variables and solving for the values for R and D, we have R is equal to D over 1 minus DT. Kung isosolve natin yung previous equation natin, ito yung magiging result niya. And D is equal to R over 1 plus R. So, these two are called the equivalent rates. The relationship between the simple interest rate and the simple discount rate is called the equivalent rates. So, for example, a bank discounts a 160,000 loan due in 3 years at 10% simple discount. Find the equivalent simple interest rate. Okay? So, based sa given... F natin is 160,000. D or the simple discount rate is 10% or 0.10 in decimal. T is 3 years. Find the equivalent R or the simple interest rate. Using the formula, R is equal to D over 1 minus DT. Substitute lang natin yung D at saka T. So, bali, hindi natin magagamit yung F natin dito. So, D is 0.10 over 1 minus 0.10 times 3. And 0.10 times 3 is equal to 0.3. Ayan na. And 1 minus 0.3 is equal to 0.7. So 0.10 over 0.7 is equal to 0.143 times 100. That is 14.3%. That is the simple interest rate. Next example, find the simple discount rate equivalent to 15% simple interest for 240 days. Again, days yung t natin dito which means i-divide natin siya sa 360 days using the banker's rule. Unless stated sa problem, banker's rule lagi yung dapat nating gamitin for the value of t. So given, t is 240 days, r is 15 so, we have to find the simple discount rate, D. Using the formula, the second formula, D is equal to R over 1 plus RT. Substitute lang natin. 0.15 is R over 1 plus 0.15 times 240 over 360. Kasi yung goal dapat ng T, again, is dapat na years yung ating Unit, hindi days, hindi months, kundi years. So, using the banker's rule, 240 days over the 360 days. So, 240 divided by 360 is 0.67. And 0.67 times 0.15 plus 1 is equal to 1.1. So, 0.15 over 1.1 is equivalent to... 0.136 or 13.6%. For our third example, how many months will it take for 300,000 pesos to grow to 350,000 pesos at 12% simple interest and 12% simple discount? Okay, so how many months? Ibig sabihin, T yung ating hinahanap dito. Uh, given, P is 300,000 pesos, F is 350,000. With that, kung given na yung dalawang amount natin, P and F, makukuha na natin syempre yung I. Kasi ma-minus lang natin yung value ng F sa ating P. So, eto na yon. 
F minus P or 350,000 minus 300,000 pesos, that is equal to 50,000. Automatically, makukuha na natin yung I. R is 0.125 and D is also 0.125. So, we have to find for the value of T. Using the simple interest formula for letter A, simple interest is I over PRT. To find the value of T, that is I over PR. So, I is equal to 50,000 over 300,000 pesos times 0.125. And that is all in all 1.33 years. Pero yung tinatanong dito is how many months. So, we have to convert the years to months. So, 1 year is equivalent to 12 months. So, 1.33 times 12, that is equal to 16 months. For letter B, T is equal to I over FD, yung simple discount formula naman yung gagamitin natin dito, in solving for T. So, T is equal to I over FD, I is 50,000 over 350,000 times 0.125. So, that is 1.14 years. Convert again natin sa months. So, times 12 siya. 1.14 times 12 is equal to 13.7 months. Our last example, if 10,000 pesos accumulates 12,500 pesos for 9 months, find the simple interest rate and the simple discount rate. So, R and D naman yung ating unknown. So, given nga yung dalawang amounts natin, P and F, okay, makukuha na natin diretso yung I natin. So, 12,500 the F minus the P which is 10,000 pesos, that is equal to the I which has the value of 2,500 pesos. So, balik tayo sa formula natin sa simple interest. For the simple interest rate, R is equal to I over PT. So, I is 2,500 divided by 10,000 times T which is 9 months over 12 kasi nakamans yung ating T dapat in years siya. So, divided by 12 ang ating T, 9 over 12. 9 over 12 times 10,000 that is equal to 7,500. And 2,500 divided by 7,500 is 33.33%. .33%. That is our simple interest rate. For the discount rate, gamit naman natin yung simple discount formula. D is equal to I over FT. I is 2,500 over 12,500 times 9 over 12. And... 12,500 times 9 divided by 12 is equal to 9,365. So, dividing 2,500 times 9,375, that is equal to 26.67% for the discount rate. So, that ends our fifth subtopic under the simple interest. For your questions, just comment down on our discussion section.